All right, folks, the deck is Reno Log. This list comes from fellow Wild Hearthstone streamer and YouTuber Jack. It has a lot of uh, kind of tech control cards and things like Gnome Furatu. It's also got the Grizzled Wizard Sir Finley combo to play around uh, Reno Priest in particular to make sure that they can't use the Shadow Priest and win hero power to kill you. Then it's got a small treachery package with treachery itself and Bell Reaper. Beyond that, though, it's just generally good cards for Reno Warlock. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Paladin should be a free win if we draw correctly. This is the start of a correct draw. Good job. Good. Oh my god. Okay. Nothing matters but the Void Caller Void Lord. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna survive if I, especially if I draw into a file. The light dims. Why so spooky, Arthas? <laughs> oh, give me the Finley. Defile's a lot worse now with the uh, Never Surrender. So I think what I want to do is coin out the Void Caller into uh, Zephyrus for a clear. Or Kazakus. Coin Kazakus for. Coin Void Caller into Kazakus for a 5 pot. Uh, actually, I can just clear this into a Void Lord next turn. Yeah. I don't want to draw right now. Probably need a hole or smite. Why does Zeph love Temple Enforcer so much? Because he got that huge buff down to five mana. Now he's styling. Even with Owl, we don't die, so just end up with a three mana. Oh god, that's large. Three mana, two one. I need to figure out a way to kill that. <laughs> like, immediately. At least we don't have that many cards in hand. Uh, but it probably involves getting a one pot off of this. The light dims, but we fight. We're just drawing into Reno. That would be pretty cool, too. At last, Freeze? That's good. That's also good. The battle. I need to make sure it freezes the big boy, and then I hope that it summons a lord. Even a void caller would be fine. That's also fine. I think that allows me to draw a card. It gives me another body to trade into as well. And it just draws me into Reno Jackson, who probably wins me the game, so that's cool. Back to your homes. You here for the tour? Free hero power. Hog champ. Yeah. I mean, that's still a large man, so we're not quite out of this yet. The battle! Get out of 
my city. I could wait a turn. Serve or die. Got two taunts in the way. I don't think there's any reason to, though. I want to play this next turn and draw into Plague of Flight. MZ versus Nemzy. Alright, um... I'm gonna keep the Defile in case of Disco and pitch the Sir Finley. It's not good until later in the game if it's good at all in this matchup. Because if it's a slower Warlock, I want to give them... Or I want to take their Gold Dance Hero Power away from them. You can Treachery the Kobold on three. Yeah, that'll teach him to take my book. According to Swag's Law, this will not be Disco. What is uh, what is Swag's Law? This is better than Mistress. Mistress comes down on three. Void Caller comes down on four. This is the makings of a great hand. If the hero power is golden, it's not Disco. Let's see. I mean, Disco is a great way to farm golden hero portraits so the opponent is not going fast though unfortunately if i didn't have such a great hand i probably would have conceded why is disco great for that because it's a really great deck that's also very fast there is so much untapped power in this world I mean, that's better than a mistress, I suppose. Alright, we're in great shape here. We'll just throw this out there. I don't know, treachery the uh, the mistress, and then... <coughs> oh my god! That made me choke. Let's... <laughs> it's a three mana three three. Swag's law is a lie. Tried to warn you. Oopsie. Well, there goes their uh, two biggest threats, so... That might be a problem. You can end your turn now, or... You're welcome to concede. I, I don't know, either one. Concede's probably appropriate here, right? Just gonna get a 5 pot. Not necessarily play it next turn, but oh my god. I I think we would have to try really hard to lose this game. What is treachery for? Uh, giving our opponent minions. So if we just feel like being generous, we can treachery something up. Fisted? Nope. Well... Does a good job of making my um, defile better, but I don't know if I want defile here when like it makes whatever I summon worse. I want to get either of these two. This might stick. It's fine. All right, should be good for me. We can just uh, Godfrey, I guess. Alganis dies, but we could also get him back with the Kazaka spot. <laughs> Ike Cinema, thank you for the ten months. Glad to see you sitting down. Yeah, it was time to take a load off. Appreciate that support. Uh, I can go here and here, and then just have more Kazaka's potions than I know what to do with. Go five pot, AOE, summon a five five. Let's go five pot, summon a five five. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one just for making a board. Chat, I don't know how to tell the opponent this, but I, I think we win. I think we won several turns ago. Discarding Doomguard is just rough. Yeah, 
They discarded Doomguard and the Tiny Knight, which were kind of their important win conditions. Oh my god, they did it again. Rip Karen. Can even double up the Gul'dan if this brand sticks, for whatever reason. You think there's a chance to see Armored Druid in the actual meta? No, oh, probably not. Should aggro be nerf? I mean, depends on what deck you're talking about. You can't just like broadly nerf aggro that easily. something that um, spans across multiple classes and and decks and just add more taunts I mean sure. oh! Wait, what's going on with... Is that new? What's up with the Tyrande chat? Assume you'll be a wizard sorcerer in Baldur's Gate. I might switch it up and try something different. I've been, uh, we've been playing for, since before I quit my job. So it's, it's been months now that I've been playing a caster. I might want to, might want to smash some face with, like, a different type of character. Chaotic neutral, yeah. That's that's an accurate representation of my character. Leaning towards uh, chaotic evil at times. Drama Taronda? She's got like weird sparkly things. Didn't realize it had been that long. I guess it was just... Yeah, when did I leave? I, I think I left in August? July? It was right before the previous expansion. Whenever uh, Skull of Mounts came out, that's around when it... she glitching i don't know it look like some of them look to be intentional some of them i'm not too sure about all right so this is this is a matchup where we have a lot of um a, whole, a lot of tech cards that can help us out here i've got the finley i just need the wizard i just want to draw it into my um my anti-win conditions i guess call them I just need to keep my life total reasonably high. Let's go for a one pot here. Nothing matters as long as we don't, like, do something stupid. Like, give away one of our combo pieces, so... Kazakus one pot coin, play it. It's a good one. I mean, it's not the greatest potion, but we have our win condition in, in hand already. So as long as we keep... It's fine. It's a great time for the raised dead draw. I'm gonna hang on to the Zola in case something bad happens again. Your wish is my I need to kill the Dirty Rat though. I'm not gonna mess around with this getting Seanced or Zolaed. 
Again, nothing matters when I have this combo. And I'm just going to keep the Zola to protect against a second rat because they probably run Ray's dead as well. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions, I know. Oh god, here comes the Ray's dead. Say, oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Um, I just need to not die for a bit, so. Not likely that they have a way to kill me without, uh. Someone injured? Without Anduin. Tempo Reno? I don't think I have another play. It's not even really a Tempo Reno. Heals for 12. Play your Anduin. I dare you. Home is where the wagon is. What? The Karazhan portal card, chat. I'm gonna leave myself open to another dirty rat. I feel like we're gonna have enough things. Your wish is my suggestion. in here. Burr is good. Got Treachery. I might as well hang out until the Fell Reaver, I suppose. And just play the uh, if below here. Is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. Maybe I don't want to play the Willow anymore. Really? Okay. Well, now I do. Could hit this. But it didn't. So we take four and then win the game. RNG, what's uh what's RNG? The light has betrayed me. I mean we offset the healing with the uh the lifesteal minion, so that's cool. I am only more deadly. Blood for blood! I think I just want to go in on the, um... On the Emperor here. Here, have a life tap. Job's done. Why has he not conceded yet? Um, he's probably still processing what's going on. They were worse at playing for value, but it can't be done. I don't think that at this point. It's, um, it's ogre. The shadows grow short. Wait, the rope looks really weird. I think I might be DC'd. It's a bug. I have it too. Okay. We're... No, they're just salty. Blood for blood. Get out of my I think I noticed that, yes. They did, in fact, leave. Alright, clearly this time it's actually the mirror match. This, um, I think I still have to keep- well, maybe I don't have to keep the dark skies if I have a void caller, even if it's disco, I just want to find a big demon. That's a big demon. Whoever has Merchant wins. I mean, last time I was in a matchup against a slower Warlock, they had Merchant and I won, so... Not sure if me mean. I think I want to tap into something different, yeah. Okay. Just need to blow up their deck. Karen has entered the battlefield. Yeah, and he would like to talk with your man. God.
No. Cool. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can hit something big with this gnome. Wait, is it actually the mirror? <laughs> I don't want them bouncing the gnome in case it's um, Reno Lock and they have Zola. Play dead would be a bummer though. Play dead? Race dead. I'm just going to uh, plague this, I think. Am I? No. I can get better plagues, like in the um, in the Gul'dan scenarios. And getting the Malganus down right now before they have the potential for a Kazaka sheep pod is pretty good. What are my bad outcomes here? Oh my god. Dreadlord. Just gonna shove the Emperor here, and I should be able to get a good uh, treachery turn. I've already used Plague, so it has to be like Dark Skies to clear. Got six, seven, eight. I also probably do want a way to kill this, right? And I don't know if I want to give up my life tap just yet. So I can go here, here, that's six, seven, eight, nine. I could go in this turn. But I have to give up life tap to do so. Is that worth? I think it's probably worth. Side effects. Good hit. We appear to be ahead in fatigue. They're gonna get only void color in their res pool. We hit everything else, right? Okay, that's their value engine now, I suppose. They probably got into Zoth as well. I just needed this turn to draw. I've got uh, Reno Zola. Incoming Tog? I mean, they can't as Alina it, so it should be fine. There is so much untapped power in this world. Small minded. They've only had Void Color die, right? Is Megathune possible with Mage? Yep. I think I've done it with every class that isn't uh, Demon Hunter. They still have Reno? Yeah. I think I do just want to clear rather than playing the Willow. So this gives me a full clear. And then I go for 10 pots with this. X3, thank you for the prime. Welcome back to the Ruffle Rebel. No, don't. It's still good. There is so much untapped power in this world. Sure. Such a fate. <laughs> I am almost out of cards. Oh, 
pretty useless in this spot. I need to get better um, demons in play. Yeah, I think we s lose this game. You sure? Still got Zephyrus and Gul'dan. I'm still fine. They don't get... Like, these Karens don't really do much until the Karen Prime dies, I guess. Yeah, we've got two Renos. Wait. Yeah. Matza, thank you for this uh, welcome to the Rafa Rebel. Just need to get Zephyrus and should be set here. It's 25 damage minus, so it's 20 damage. Less the uh, Void Lord. I think I want to get the Void Lord down and then, uh, then get the Blood Reaver down. Get out of my city! I also want to try and kill these to pull the uh, the Karens from hand. Zephyr should carry though, and we burn theirs. Like Zeph into Twist, Zeph could make uh, Zola useful. Not a great Gul'dan. I don't want to play this because of um, hand space. It's like our Gul'dan is better. I'm almost out of cards. We just have Lethal on board. But chat thinks we lose this game, so I should probably concede. Miss Jaraxxus Lethal. Animation was too slow. So first it was a bunch of warlocks, now it's a bunch of druids. Let's have some fun. <laughs> keep this for aggro druid. Let's full keep this hand, sure. What kind of game is Divinity? It's a turn-based RPG, but like more fun with a uh, a party. So play with friends every Friday. Die. The opponent drew patches, what a nerd. Dirty red on too, right, chat? Like, we knew that was getting pulled, so it'll be fine. And I just need to soften these up, even if they get buffed for the, uh, the dark skies. Hey, I got you, friend. What is your character like in Divinity? Uh, we just did the story mode character, so, so I am playing Bane. Next turn I get the Plague of Flames. I guess I could have traded first and that would have um, been better. Need a defile. Not defile. Probably using the coin this turn. Side effects. No. Trust me. Maybe not. Uh, 
Uh, I think we hit the three worst targets there. No. One of the gibber lanes was a good hit. People seem pretty neutral on whether it's a good play to play Dirty Rat on turn two. It's usually not, but we knew what their hand was and what their deck was at the time. So it made sense in the context. Uh, Fane is a, uh, so I guess it doesn't, even the story mode characters, I, I didn't give them much information. He's an undead um, sorcerer or wizard type uh, caster mage. Your wish is my suggestion. The overwhelming majority of time Rat on 2 is bad, I agree. There are, of course, exceptions to every rule, but um, people are far too liberal with their uh, dirty rats, in my opinion. Should be an easy win from here. Could even look for a one pot if I really wanted to. Playing a undead caster in WoW, so love the choice. Yeah, it. Uh, I just kind of sit back and nuke things. It's pretty fun. I'm in like um, Aerithurge, so I just like shock and stun everything. So I, I do CC as well as uh, a lot of damage, including a lot of damage to my party. Dirty Rat seems pretty good here, not gonna lie. I can't win them all. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Brokey, Dope Guy, Banfix, Tom, and Neofay.